one from Ken Poletti. Ken says, Dear Gary, I've read uh, the section on waste tank odors and found some helpful hints there, but by and large, I've uh, pretty much complied with all the steps. I have two questions. I have one of those Venturi type swiveling vent units, and I believe we have a photograph for you, Ken, since you sent yours in uh, as a holdover from the last uh, webcast. We have a photo coming up that shows a, a device called the, um, this Venturi type swiveling unit called the uh, Extreme Vent. Actually, it's the, it's the other photo, Chuck, I'm sorry. The uh, first photo there that you see, we're gonna get to in just a minute. There you see the Extreme Vent. The Extreme Vent is one of those swiveling devices. We actually installed one here on, uh, on Chuck's motorhome uh, a couple months ago, and it's worked out quite well. Like you, uh, Ken, Ken was, or uh, <laughs> Chuck was, complaining about sewer odors, and he's not had a problem. He's been on a three-month trip across the country, and he's not had any sewer odors after installing the Extreme Vent. I'm a big fan of that, obviously. You also mentioned that you have uh, sewer gases coming up under the vanity cabinet, and that's the other photo that we have here. There's a device in there called the Anti-Siphon Trap Vent Device. In the industry, we call it an ASTVD, only because it's harder to say anti-siphon trap vent device. Every coach has a couple of these inside the coach. And uh, the, uh, this device allows air into the system, but prohibits gases and air from coming out of the sewer system in your RV. If you have one of those ASTD, anti-siphon trap vent devices, for some reason, it's easier for me to say that, under your lavatory sink where you have the odor, uh, that possibly could be the, the cause of your, uh, of your odor under there. There's a little rubber diaphragm in there. Those can be easily replaced, uh, or you can simply uh, eliminate uh, the, or lubricate rather, the rubber diaphragm in there. There's a product, there's a chemical company called Dow Chemical. We've all heard of that. They make a lubricating grease called Dow 111, and that's the type of grease you want to use to, to lubricate that rubber membrane inside the ASTVD. So I appreciate your question, Ken.